Greetings fellow adventurers and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband, Floris Expanded. Where we are currently attempting to chase a group of bandits. Aha, we found them. Your days are numbered. This I swear. Let's see. Ah oh, yes, the novices. We, want, we definitely want to turn these into Rodok Militia. Which are quite, uh, quite good. And we'll uh, turn these into four more pikemen so that we actually have an actual, like, you know, pike line. We'll turn these Swadian plebs into militia, though there's a good argument to be made that they could be turned into, uh, you know, other soldiers, but notwithstanding, let us chase after these bandits. Even though our inventory is full, it could be quite useful. They've also got a few uh, prisoners that could be uh, helpful as well. Alright, we managed to catch up to them. Your luck has run out, wretch. Somebody, oh, some people have joined on our side. I, I don't want your help. I do not desire it. Please. I don't want to share the loot. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, this count here seemed quite uh, intent on catching up to the bandits, but uh, I believe that this is going to be, you know, ours. All right, your luck has run out, wretch, for the second time. Got a bit of a mountain here. I don't feel, I don't feel comfortable uh, advancing on this. So we will have the infantry form ranks. We've already spotted the enemy. We we'll get the pikemen in line there. Have them in the second rank. Let's get the archers up to the proper top of the hill there. We'll get a hit there with our crossbow. We may be in the market for a better crossbow. Ah! Our, uh, our Swadian pleb has managed to uh, knock one of the bandits unconscious with a, with a properly aimed stone. Quite good. Ah, we'll save our uh, archer there. Whew, it was tense. As we continue to uh, lay down some suppressing fire on these men. It's another one down. I, I suppose it wouldn't be called suppressing fire. I don't know what the proper term would be for just, uh, you know, just laying some fire on an enemy. We'll have our horsemen charge. Kill any of these stragglers. Most excellent. And well done. We have taken no casualties and defeated the bandits, and even taken one prisoner. Quite useful. Let's hire this Nord Berserker. He seems like he could be useful, as well as these two Huskarls. We will uh, train our men to have uh, two more longbowmen. And I think that some, uh, yes, we wanted some Swadian Militia to train into footmen so that they can become pages someday so that we have some proper Swadian Cavalry. Now, some of these items are worth quite a bit more, so we're going to do a little bit of a, an exchange here um, until the amount becomes kind of negligible. Just so we get better value out of the loot that we are carrying. Now, I think we... Didn't we gain a level recently? I can't quite remember. Alright. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Most excellent. We get another novice and another recruit. We will uh, turn this one into a Rodok Spearman. Get some good, proper Spearman. Always quite helpful. Get another point in Charisma. And let's pick up another point in Trade. Let's see... Our crossbowmanship is becoming quite good, I must say. But we will continue to train our uh, one-handed skills since we don't use it as much. We could uh, pursue that other stack of bandits, but for the time being, I feel uh, we should head to the town or the uh, city of Suno. Let's see if there's a ransom broker here. Well... 
I did see an NPC in there we could potentially recruit. However, I'm more in a market to just, you know, sell loot. Although, we do we should save a suit of armor for uh Clethy. Let's see, are there any one of these uh padded leathers ought to do. And let's get her let's get her this uh Hmm. Let's give her this longsword, perhaps? No. Let's give her the Senlac sword. Give her a proper one handed blade. If she can wield it. Let me see your equipment. You have a knife and throwing knives. Very well. Have a sword. And she is too weak to even use this padded leather. Well, we'll hold on to it for the time being. Until she can, uh. Till she becomes strong enough that she would uh, be able to use it. And uh, first of all, sell items automatically. Let us change the settings. Have this be a much higher limit for auto sell, and we will sell items automatically whenever we leave a town. Much quicker. We've got another 200 dinars. Quite nice. Now, perhaps we could find those forest bandits once again that we saw before. Oh, we see some mountain bandits. Let's attack this 19 stack. Ah, the uh, the count wishes to join us in our in our fight, and we don't really want that to happen, because then uh, the nobles have a tendency to snatch up all the loot, which would make the fight kind of pointless, other than getting a little bit of experience, but not enough to really uh, you know, be useful or anything. All right, we do need to buy some more food soon, though. All right, your luck has run out, Rich. All right. Can we see them? Yes, we can see the enemy from here. We'll have our archers form up there. And get our, uh... Pikes and, uh, infantry ready. As we can see, these pikemen have rather long, you know... Pikes, and not pitchforks. A marked improvement in military technology. Quite good. We'll have our small line of archers here. Lay down some uh, volleys on these approaching bandits who, many of whom don't even appear to be using shields, so this could be, could be quite good for us. I really need to turn on my Steam notifications. Huh. Let's see. Ah, got him. Right as he was aiming at us, too. Archer's doing quite a good, good uh, amount of work there. We get a headshot on that soldier. Alright, have the archers back off. The infantry did not form up, so we're going to have to have rely on our pikes here. And we'll get another kill there. Thankfully, most of them have seemed to uh, clump up. They have uh, clumped up, I should say. That one's trying to retreat. We got him. Alright, have the infantry charge. As well as the pikemen. Ah, wow. Took a good hit there. Alright, we'll have our uh, single cavalrymen begin to uh, pursue as well. Using our violin shield. <laughs> We'll kill that mountain bandit, and huzzah! We have been, vic we are victorious. Quite good. Only one wounding, but we managed to defeat the entirety of these mountain bandits. Quite good. Let us hire these uh, Vager men. Vagers, of course, being close to, uh, like you know, medieval Russians, essentially. I'm not sure which of these uh, Rodok upgrades we want to get. We need to look at the troop tree. Uh, but this man we will upgrade to a Rodok crossbowman. A proper crossbowman. I love this bassinet helmet. What a beautiful looking helmet. I wish I had armor that good. <laughs> oh, we found a proper crossbow. Um, unfortunately, it cannot be used on horseback. Um, but that's okay. And that's okay because we're going to uh, perhaps start joining the archers in the archer line. 
Maybe not the wisest decision, but a decision nonetheless. Now, unfortunately, a drawback of having more men means we make less money when we, uh, fight. Which is quite unfortunate, but for now, let's look at the upgrade trees. Let's see. Rodok Republic. And where are... Okay, so Rodok Infantry are our sword and shield troops, so those are kind of the ones we want. The sentries use two-handed swords, which, while awesome, um, are also quite vulnerable and aren't really something that we can um, afford at the moment. We need durable troops that can uh, take a hit or two. So right, we will upgrade them to the Rodok Infantry. Let's get, uh, let's get more recruits. The, uh, Rodox do get quite good, uh, spearmen. Their, uh, later troops are quite good. Especially compared to spearmen of other factions. Uh, we will... I don't know. I think we're gonna hold on to this hunting crossbow, and we may give it to Clethy. Um, because archers are quite good in this mod, as it is. And when you combine that with, uh... Well, when you give it to an NPC that's quite vulnerable... It, uh, kind of helps counteract it a little bit. Now, we are up to 1376 dinars. We do need to buy some food, though. Well, why buy it here when we can head to the grain capital of the world in Dirim and save some money? Now, I don't believe there was a, uh, yeah, there was no ransom broker in that town, so we are just going to head straight to Dirim. Hopefully not run into any trouble along the way, though if we find any bandits, we will certainly attempt to engage. Ah, there's a 23 stack of bandits. I, I have to. Come back here, you crafty devils. Alright, your luck has run out. <gasps> Foul wretches. It would be useful for us to get a man who can uh, traverse these lands more effectively. Perhaps we could hire a hunter from one of the local towns that could help us uh, find more paths through the woods. Alright, men, form ranks. Pikes get on the secondary. Get the men close enough. Infantry responding this time, um, as they should have in the first place. Have our infantry right at the backs. Get our uh, spearmen intermingled with the uh, actual infantry. All right, let's get off our our ass. Use this uh, proper crossbow. Oh, almost twice as much damage as the uh, last one. Oh, beautiful. What a lovely weapon. Quite effective. Quite effective indeed. Let's try a new tactic. Alright, men. Let's see, uh... I believe it's, uh... What is it? Attack orders? Yes. Alright, men. Volley fire. Volley fire only. They don't seem to be good enough at this drill. Problems with peasants, am I right? Our, uh... Oh, our ass is still here. Very well. We shall use him to, uh... Cut down these retreating men. You can hear the uh, arrows whizzing by from our own troops. There's another one down. Alright, sir. Villain! And that'll be it for this battle. Well done. Kill those forest bandits. Ooh, we can upgrade one of our Swedian longbowmen to a self bow archer. Well, that is quite the bow, sir. Welcome aboard. Right, let's chain this uh, Nord Berserker into a spoiler. Well done. We uh, managed to get some more loot for ourselves. <laughs> Quite good. Alright, and that's all we can carry. Let our companions gather the rest. Um, let us stop in Suno. Because while it is not as cheap as uh, DRM, we do need the money. Or we do need the food, I should say. Let's sell this glaive. Buy some food. We need to keep that armor for, uh, for Clethy. And, uh, oh, 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 nope. Don't want to sell the crossbow. 
We already have a Senlac sword, so. Although we could we could train her on a bow. Which probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. Compared to the crossbow. Because it doesn't require as much strength to use bows. And her strength is not very good. Over time, she may become a great archer. She may become a lot of things over time. We shall see how uh, she develops as a character. This bread ought to be enough to uh, get us to Dirim. To buy a proper amount of grain. I don't think the NPCs have changed in this town yet. They shouldn't have, anyway. Uh, however, yeah, yeah, no. Oh, there's a ransom broker now, though. So I guess I was mistaken. Very well, ransom broker. We would like to sell some bandits to you. And that'll bring us up to 2,400 dinars. Let us uh, upgrade some of our troops. Let's uh, let's get another spearman. We'll have uh, another Rodok militia. We'll get two more Rodok novices from our subjects. Still only at 410 uh, upkeep per week, which is quite good, thanks to our uh, amazing leadership of four at this point in the game. And uh, anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So next episode, we will head to Dirim, and then perhaps look into uh, investing to uh, make some money. So uh, thank you for joining me, my fellow adventurers, and I'll see you on the next one.